Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Relics in the Lost City The great lost city of Palenque was discovered by the Spanish in 1567. The local Maya called the city Otolum, meaning a land with strong houses. The Spanish translated this to Palenque, which means fortification in Spanish. At the time of its discovery, the Maya had already abandoned this place for centuries. It was already a ruin, in about the same state as it is today. And all these years later, researchers at the National Institute of Anthropology and History in Mexico have discovered something extremely unique. They have found a representation of the corn god hiding in these jungle ruins. The ruins of the city have only been about 10% explored over the past 500 years. We know about the big buildings, like the Temple of Inscriptions and the mysterious burial chamber of the Red Queen. But the truth is that there are way more, over 1,400 structures already documented, spanning 1,800 hectares of land. It was recently, while the researchers were looking at the palace where the Red Queen was buried, that they found a hidden corridor. Inside the corridor was the severed stucco head of the corn god lying in a small pond. Researchers say it was probably placed on the floor of the pond and then sealed inside of a stucco enclosure as a way to simulate the god entering the underworld, probably as an attempt to make it rain. Number 9. The Ancient Path Researchers have just begun revealing one of the largest ancient pathways in the world, and it's hiding in the jungles of South America. This trail is extremely old, going back over 1,000 years, and actually connects the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic. It's about 2,500 miles long, and was originally carved by the indigenous people who called the jungle home. The name of this secret ancient path is the Camino de Peabiru, once used by the native Guarani people in Brazil as a spiritual road that supposedly led to a mythical paradise. When European colonizers arrived on the continent, they used the same path to bring riches from one side of South America to the other. Most of the original paths have already disappeared, either totally overgrown by the jungle or transformed into modern highways. It was only in the past few years the researchers started really focusing on uncovering what was once the biggest road in the world. From what we know, thanks to historical records, it was the Portuguese sailor Alexo Garcia who first used the path to walk from southern Brazil to the Andes Mountains in Peru. He was shipwrecked in 1516, was taken in by the Guarani people, and they showed him the trail which they said led to a mysterious empire in the mountains, rich with gold and silver. This mysterious empire ended up being the Inca, and after walking roughly 2,000 miles, Garcia became the first European to ever behold the Inca. This was over a decade before the Spanish conquistadors arrived. Number 8. Lost Cities of Bolivia About two decades ago, researchers from the German Archaeological Institute began excavations on some mysterious mounds near the small village of Casarabe in Bolivia. This is right at the fringe of the Amazon jungle, on a savanna plain which floods every few months out of the year. It didn't strike the researchers as a smart place to build a permanent settlement, and yet they discovered traces of habitation prior to the 16th century. They also found causeways and canals leading for miles across the savanna, seemingly to nowhere. All these years later, researchers have returned to learn more about the Casarabe culture. They believe this culture flourished here in Bolivia between 500 and 1400 AD. The mounds, which were originally excavated, were actually eroded pyramids. They were basically stumps of melted stone and mud that had once been huge pyramid structures. To get to the bottom of just how big this society was, researchers used light detection and ranging technology to survey the terrain. This involved a laser scanner attached to a helicopter, sending laser pulses across the ground. This method revealed two massive sites that were once great cities. These lost cities at the fringe of the jungle were between 147 and 315 hectares and could have held thousands and thousands of people. We have no idea what happened to this mysterious society. They had clearly built cities that could rival those of the Inca or the Maya, and yet every last trace, other than the marks they've left on the ground, is gone. Number 7. The Secret Pyramid of Samoa Hidden deep in the thick and tangled jungle of Samoa, a rocky footpath recently led archaeologists to one of the most mysterious secrets in the South Pacific. 
Researchers found 80 ancient star mounds, platforms built in the shapes of many pointed stars. These enormous platforms were abandoned about 300 years ago, and they are baffling experts. Researchers don't know exactly what they were used for, why they were abandoned, or really anything else about them. The few details scientists do know are that these star mounds are some of the oldest and largest structures anywhere in the region of Polynesia. They were probably pyramids with flat tops, molded to have eight points in mimicry of the stars above, and they were built starting around the year 1000. The rest is a total mystery. Archaeologists have suggested these star-shaped pyramids could have been used for pigeon snaring competitions, public meetings, or religious ceremonies. They could even be burial chambers, and there could be bodies hiding deep underneath. The mounds were most certainly built by a pre-colonial society that flourished before Europeans arrived in 1722. It also shows that the Samoan population was likely far larger than anyone believed. It's now looking like colonialism wiped out around 80 to 90 percent of the people in Samoa, destroying their culture and heritage with them. Number 6. Lost Indian Settlement The ancient remains of a settlement from the 13th century were recently discovered hiding in a jungle in India, in Arunachal Pradesh. Researchers found a massive rampart made from stone blocks over 742 feet long, along with the eroded stone of a huge gateway. Even more interesting is that they found symbols that appear to be bows, arrows, and tridents inscribed on the remains of the rampart. They found the remains of broken stone pillars, burnt bricks once used in the creation of some great fortress, and the scant vestiges of huge stone staircases that must have once led to tall temples or other buildings. This entire region is known as the land of Papumpare, and it's a mountainous place in the Himalayas covered in lush forests, deep river valleys, and sprawling plateaus where humans rarely visit. Clearly, this mountainous jungle region was once home to a major culture around the time that Genghis Khan was rampaging across Russia. Researchers even found a path made from bricks that came from the Stone Age 5,000 years ago. Nobody knows who these people were. They have no name, and their mountain cities have been reduced to crumbling rock fragments. Researchers like Pura Koji, who was involved in all of the excavations here, says they need more time and more information before they can get to the bottom of this strange mystery. And now for number 5. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Relaxing Music by Daddy Loki and Lori Carter. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. Number 5. Lost Maya City in the Yucatan Archaeologists in Mexico have discovered yet another lost city of the Maya, this time during construction work at an industrial park. The work was going down near the capital of the Yucatan in Merida, and the new city is estimated to be at least 1,400 years old. Researchers have named it Xol, and they say it flourished from between 600 to 900, during one of the most epic periods in Maya history. This was a time when the Maya city-states were vying for power, with a complicated network of enemies and alliances making up the kingdom. Then, in the 9th century, the Maya world fragmented from within, and the entire civilization slowly collapsed. This led to the abandonment of many cities, the end of all the royal dynasties, and mass migration to the north. It was during this time when Xiol was left deserted. Researchers first identified the lost city in 2015, and have been excavating ever since. They've uncovered the remains of massive palaces, huge plazas where citizens gathered in celebration, stone altars that may have been used in sacrifices, and even a cenote, where the Maya dumped ritual offerings to their gods. 38 funerary deposits have also been uncovered, revealing exceptional information about the inhabitants and their burial customs. The funerary deposits contained burial goods like jewelry and flint tools, showing how the Maya here cared greatly about sending off their dead with lots of supplies. The abundance of marine animal bones shows that the people probably ate a hearty diet of fish. Number 4. Lost Mountain Temple Deep in the jungle of Thailand, an ancient stone temple has been discovered. The temple was found amidst the ruins of a large settlement that dates back to around the 6th century BC. Historians are calling it the City of Mountains. The researchers first heard a rumor about a system of ruins hiding in the jungle in 2017, 
but only recently managed to cut their way through the dense foliage, climb halfway up a mountain, and discover the remains. And when I say remains, I mean it. There was almost nothing left when the researchers arrived except tons of rock. Most people wouldn't even have realized they were standing in the remains of what had been a city 2,500 years ago. History tells us that the region has been a major production hub of jewelry, wood, and tin since 500 BC. This settlement was probably part of a larger network of communities spread across the Gulf of Siam that traded with kingdoms much farther away. In fact, the settlement may have even grown to be a massive city-state with its own rulers by the 13th century. What this means is that the scattered rocks, the very few building blocks still left to document, once belonged to one of the oldest cities in Thailand. The temple discovered was probably a sanctuary built around the year 775, dedicated to the Buddha. There is still a lot more exploring to do, since only about 5% of the total site has been excavated. Centuries left alone has allowed the jungle to totally swallow the place. Number 3. The Great Medieval Cities of the Khmer Archaeologists in Cambodia have come across medieval cities hiding in the jungle. These cities were found near the famous temple complex of Angkor Wat, which was arguably the greatest jungle city ever built by human hands. Because of how dense and impassable the jungle here is, researchers had to rely on new technology to identify the structures. They used laser scans to reveal cities dating back as far as 1,400 years ago, completely overgrown by the tropical forest floor. Some of these ancient cities are nearly the size of the modern capital of Phnom Penh. Researchers scanned about 734 square miles of jungle and identified multiple populated cities, which when put together make up the largest empire anywhere on the planet in the 12th century. The Khmer Empire truly was the biggest, greatest, and most fearsome of them all, even if they weren't quite as advanced as many other societies at the time. Their cities were large and very populated. The biggest mystery is trying to figure out where all the people went. Until recently, it was believed that the Thais invaded Cambodia, pushed the Khmer out of Angkor Wat, and everyone fled south. Considering these cities survived long after Angkor, that theory may not be true. We don't know what happened 800 years ago in this hot, sweltering jungle. Number 2. Borneo Jungle Paintings There is a mysterious cave in Borneo, hiding in the jungle of Southeast Asia, which has a seemingly miraculous secret. There is a painting inside this cave, which dates back 40,000 years. There are a lot of paintings in the cave, with artwork showing species of wild cattle, humans doing some kind of ritualistic dance, and much more. It's been quite the interesting discovery for archaeologists, since it proves that cave art didn't begin in Europe as was previously believed. Instead, some of the oldest artists in the world may have lived in the Indonesian province of Borneo. Not much else was discovered inside the cave system. Nobody lived here, but instead climbed to the forested peaks of small mountain-like rocks for the sole purpose of creating art. They basically had to mountain climb up sheer rock to reach the mouth of the cave without any kind of equipment, just so that they could draw hand stencils and paintings of animals. And they may have been doing it years before anyone in Europe began making their own cave paintings. Number 1. Kalakmul Just a few miles from the border of Guatemala, in one of the biggest tropical forests anywhere in the Americas, there is a ruin called Kalakmul. It's one of the most mysterious Maya ruins in Mexico today, hidden inside of a biosphere reserve which is protected by the government. There are almost no tourists down here. Nobody is allowed to pillage the jungle of its resources, and so the ruins have remained relatively untouched. This city dates back much earlier than most of the more famous Maya ruins. Many of the biggest abandoned cities in Mexico were built sometime around 600 AD and then abandoned between 900 and 1000 AD. But Calakmul was built over a millennium earlier, around 550 BC. It did reach its height at around the same time as the other Maya cities, between 250 and 900, and then was totally empty by 1000. It was around the year 636 that Kalakmul had its most challenging period. The city had already developed an extensive political network, only to be defeated by the Maya rulers at Tikal. The city continued to thrive, but the political upheaval was major. 
At its peak, the population of Kalakmul was about 1.5 million. And the final mysterious fact about the city is that even though it was abandoned by the year 1000, it wasn't totally forgotten. From between 1000 and 1500 AD, Kalakmul was a pilgrimage site. Before the Spanish came, nearby villagers would bring offerings and dump them inside the unmaintained temples and pyramids to appease the gods. Thanks for watching! Which jungle dwelling ancient civilization do you think was the most impressive? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.